and and these questions are coming up. I I I, I during this conference and, and just to put it in context for some, I am coming back from our general conference, um, and and I got to say, Jack, I was pleasantly um, surprised, and 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 I left there more hopeful than I did going. Um, going, I had a lot of questions. I was kind of on the verge, like I ah, I don't know about this, but but afterwards, seeing us struggle with this, and then even kind of you know, the, in, in the decision that we, we made and we voted on as a body, it left me being more hopeful about, about moving forward in our church. This is hard work, as you know. And, and what I got a chance to see, um, as you go deeper into, I think you were saying like the, 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 the lion's den or deeper in the belly of the beast, um, you find that there are some decisions and, 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 and stakeholders and people in place that are making decisions for, about the future of the, the, the denomination and, and, and who we put in those positions are very important. Um, and these are, are not easy um, decisions and, and people are guided by a number of different things that there are a number of different motives as to why people are deciding the way that they decide. And so for me, I am getting a more um, up close look at noticing that, you know, hallelujah. Now, now we'll do the things that we do with each other in the business session, which is the, the, the irony of this. But when it comes time for church, you know, folks are like, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Folks are running all over the place and catching the spirit, if you may. And so there is there is that, um, but we, we, we the, it's not always clear in terms of how our theology impacts our politics, um, mm. impacts our decision making on a practical on a practical scale. Um, so yeah, man, it's 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 some issues that are really confronting us in ways that I think are real and very important. Yeah, and I looked up some articles, uh, and this is all public knowledge. And and I thank you because I don't I don't know how many AME pastors would be willing to talk about this. It seems like only a few have ever been a yeah. voice uh, like like uh, Pastor Bryant, when he was AME, I don't think he's AME no more. I think he's National Baptist now with uh, the New Birth Church. Yeah. Uh, but he was very outspoken AME pastor. I think his dad, is a he's a legacy pastor, um, a lot of influence. Um, and again, I think it's hard to identify on the national level who who are the voices for the AME church. Mm -hmm. um, but but right. based on some of the articles I read, I mean, it says that there's ongoing debate in the AME church over theological interpretations, particularly concerning issues like mm -hmm. biblical inerrancy, social justice, and the role of the church in contemporary society. Uh, 